Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph for another Star Trek Discovery, the official Starship collection by Eagle Moss and Hero Collector. Now, this is the Klingon Despo episode, well, it's model number 24 anyway, out of the set. We're going to have a look at this. I, I did actually, if anybody remembers from last time, I got as far as number 23 on the set and I stopped reviewing these simply because problems with Eagle Moss Eagle Moss weren't delivering anything it was just I had enough with the the delays so I'm just gonna get these when and whenever they turn up either in sales or on eBay or something like that as long as they're good near as damn it mint condition shall we say we'll go get these so the Despow Despow Despo Das, das, boo. Ah. well basically it was part of the um, Battle of the Binars was it Binary Stars Binars, wasn't the binars, the battle of the binary stars. Yes, ship. Now, according to the pictures, I'm a little bit disappointed already by this, because it looks like a big torpedo, but the actual model parts, as all these parts on here look like the spines and spikes. And I know health and safety will kick in and say, oh, you can't have that, you can't do this. Look, on the back here, every single one of these are nice, sharp spikes. You can't land a shuttlecraft into the back end, which probably engineer or something. It looks very like it's either not finished or it's meant to look as spiky and some... It looks like a big coil, to be honest, that part. But we'll get to that in a... We'll get to the model in a moment anyway. But look like a big um, transformer coil, it's quite odd. But let's get you in for the magazine, let's have a look. So number 24. Like I said, the last one was the um, landing shuttle from season two, which is number 23, obviously. So let's have a look inside here, fold that over. Right, so it's, it's, it's half a kilometer long, 427.3 meters long. There's a lot of nice little detail on here. It's, uh, that I say it's a shame with the spike, but I get it. It's fine. Not really a problem. It's not much on the, the Memory Alpha, the Wikipedia page, to, to, to do anything about this. It was obviously one of the ships that was in the, the background, in the battle. I mean, we have a digital model because all digital models are on there and they have to be this well detailed, even if there's just a little dot in the corner. This sort of stuff is... High enough detail work anyway, so they've had that many different designers working on these anyway, so we can get a good look at them. Rather a short book as well, to be honest. Um, yeah, there, there's a ship, not much, and there's the side, top, bottom, front, and back. Okay. I mean, it's one of those designs that repeats over. You've got, like, Klingon symbols there as well, which is quite interesting that it's built into the ship itself. Or if not, the Klingon symbols look very much like them. Design the Klingon Daspo. Daspo? Daspi. Da. Hmm. Right, so we have a lot of the other evolution... What? Elevation studies. Right, so we have for the sarcophagus ship, is it? We have parts... Different ones as well. They do kind of <clears throat> barely show, share a little bit of a, a history with each other, but I don't know. Some are quite good. I mean, obviously, this one was used almost for that. This one's the wings trying to make it like a bird of prey. Yeah. Oh, and if that's actually the size difference between a Miranda class and this, this is a proper decent capital ship sort of size vessel but scale wise on discovery is a uh, for me a little bit odd don't get me started on the turbo shafts Ooh, that's fun yeah that's a definite different angle to it which way would you think that would go do you think this would be the back end the engines and it would go that way and this is the front end or do you think as soon as we're pointing front with this one and back I like, I do like that. That's some sort of weird. It's not Klingon, but I do like the design and, and then layer on layer on layer on there. Very nice. Hmm. What? 
Is that the is that got warp engines on the side? It's like Federation warp nacelles? At the CGI model, the Death Power was adaptive the to become Harry Mudd's ship in the short treks. Oh okay, that's why it's got warp nacelles on it. Okay. So next time uh, eventually there'll be a full playlist of model kits and whatever anyway but next one will be 25 it won't be the next one that I'm actually going to record like I say these will be coming in when and if ever you get on sale or get whatever's it says only because this uh, Eagle Moss are just the usual usual to be honest they're just not that good at delivering on time so I'll just get up with them so uh, 3846 a slash a so it's still a first run stand at least anyway that's heavy it will sit on the stand somehow so is it does it matter oh that's of course between not as stable there it'll it'll sit on it anyway so that's not a problem at all but let's get around to putting that out of the way right these are this is a six sided shape it was kind of like the um, a more battle-hardened uh, whale probe from Star Trek IV, or even a Vija. There's that long design that doesn't really show much on it. But let's go around and see if we can find a repetitive pattern. Um, right, so if that's the top, one, two, three, yep, repetitive pattern. Now when we're circle there, circle there. Oh, okay, so all four. Are repetitive patterns apart from the them two so let's get in to a little bit closer on these anyway oh look Christmas tree okay <laughs> Merry Christmas I mean it gets me on these the, de the design on these are I'll try and get this a bit more focused there we go the design on these for a little <laughs> yeah it's bigger than my hand but by God, the, the, the design is ridiculously good on some of these. Focusing behind the actual main point I want to get focused. There we are. It, it's... It's definitely different. Let me come down one of these. I saw a lot of pipe working, tubing. Are they just missile launchers, torpedo launchers? The dirt on it as well. Looks like it's just been rusting in space for... for Hundreds of years. The, the really excellent paintwork on this. I mean, the thing with the Klingon ships, you can't really tell that they are what they're meant to be. I mean, the Enterprise and the Voyagers and stuff like that. Yes, we know they're supposed to be a certain thing, and then when the the window misalignments are out, then it's kind of we spot it very quickly. With these, what's wrong? What's right? We just don't know. And that's the second part, the one with the, the main bar down the back of it, so the top of the bottom. Yeah, another Christmas tree. Let's go right to the back end. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so that's meant to be the main engine, or is this meant... To, it's, meant it's not a navigation reflector on that, is it? It can't be. The engine's on the back. And the... the Paint dabs on this. These are mass produced models, and the paint applications on these are, are it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous how they can do this sort of stuff. I mean, I love making my models when I've got time to do them, but I could never do this, ever. I mean, it, it, I mean, you keep getting closer and closer to this. I mean, let's get as close as I possibly can. Here we go, a bit of focusing. It's... I'm going to put my fingernail in front of the... Uh, in the camera and just show you the scale of what this is. And is it... is it... no. There it is. That's how small this is. It's absolutely ridiculous, the detail that they can get away with on these. And I said they're mass produced, so the person doing this has either got crazily good eyes or just absolutely knackered eyes <laughs> I mean it does look like a I don't know 
could use it as a, as a stabbing weapon. You could, um, there are plenty of things I don't want to discuss on its shape and colour, but there's a spinning top. No, let's not do a spinning top on here, Ralph. That's just silly. But yeah, it, it's, it's the detail. It's not the ships that I like from the Klingon side of the Discovery series. It's the detail work on the, on the nutters that actually make these. They're absolutely insanely crazy. I mean, that part in the middle there, that definitely looks like if you take a, a transformer or, a, or a, a motor to pieces, you'll see these, there's like this coil around there in the centre, but that's obviously just been copied. It's layer upon layer of metal, but it's obviously plastic. I actually don't know what is metal on here. Plastic. Plastic. It does feel there's a, a lot of metal, about plastic on here. I think maybe. Nope. 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 I'm not quite sure there's any metal on here, but it does feel weighty. So, I don't really know. I'm not quite sure, you know. Hmm? Oh, we have a, a hair that's been stuck and painted to this. <laughs> okay, goodbye in the bin. So, there we go. Like I said, there isn't much to, that we know about this, except for the Harry Mudd variant from one of the short treks. Which some of those were really good anyway. That were the um oh was that the short trek that he did when he cloned himself? They were all androids. Mm. They all um oh, I'll be sipping jippers on the beach somewhere. And it was like it's that in the end, but when they've got loads and loads of him, which is really funny. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, follow me on social media. If you want to help out the channel, come and join on YouTube, come and join on Patreon, come and join me on Discord. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.